Hi, this is Patty Rojas. Welcome to Happy Healthy Valley, a show for our community where we will be talking about everything that makes you happy and healthy. Join us every Monday through Friday at 4 p.m. Stay tuned. Thank you for tuning in to Happy Healthy Valley. Today we're going to talk about an amazing sport that's great for your mind, for your body, and for your self-defense. Yes, ma'am. That's right. Yes, ma'am. I am at Gracie Barra, or in Portuguese, Gracie Baja, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, located in McAllen on Bicentennial and Dove. And I'm with Joshua Sharpless, who is the owner and also uh, one of the main professors. How are you, Joshua? I'm doing well, thank you very much. Awesome, thank well, you, thank you so much for receiving us today. Yes, ma'am. Um, a lot of people don't know what Jiu Jitsu is. Tell us yes, a little bit about it. Uh, jiu Jitsu is a ground-based martial art. Mm -hmm. uh, it relies on um, leverage and technique to overcome mm -hmm. size and strength. You see a lot of these guys, they mm -hmm. start standing up, but it take it to the ground. Uh, it's great for self-defense because learning how to fight on the ground is definitely beneficial. That is awesome. Um, you have age-appropriate programs, so from three to yes, like six yes, years of age. Tell us a little bit about your program. Yes, ma'am. Our age, uh, our, our programs are age-appropriate. We have three and four-year-old program, and then they move on to another program that's a little bit longer. It's mm -hmm. five and six and seven, mm -hmm. uh, and then we start seeing them progress into a, a little bit older program that is seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, all the way up into another teen program. So they, it, they, it's not a hard age. It's not once they turn that age they're going into it, but they all develop and mature at a different rate. We want to make sure that they have a, a, a process. Of, of, of expanding their jujitsu. What would you tell people like myself? They're like, well, I'm too old, you know, I don't have the same the flexibility or the ability. So, what, what would you tell people like I, myself? I hear that a lot. Uh, that's that's a big uh, misconception. Misconception, correct. Mm -hmm. You're never too old. Uh, I have I have adults on the mat that are 50 something. Uh, my oldest student is 65 years oh, old. Wow. Uh, it's never too late to start. Myself didn't start till I was 27. Uh, I've been doing this for 13 years. So it'll keep you young for sure. The thing is, is finding the right place to train um, and, and a safe place to train. That is definitely gonna be better for you as you're older. Awesome. So earlier today we were watching how all the children were having such blast, but it goes beyond just having a great time. How does that impact their life? A uh, number of different ways. Uh, not only is it healthy for them, it's a great activity to ex uh, expend energy, but also they're learning techniques that will w one day, you know, keep them safe. Uh, and they're obtaining the confidence that they need from the actual hands-on interaction of doing this art. Uh, they gain the confidence that, you know, they don't become targets for bullies. <gasps> That's right, and you have a program, anti-bully program, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. So, uh, so important. Yes, ma'am. We all, we hold a number of events throughout the year for uh, just the bullying program, but it's also ingrained into our curriculum that we're teaching them uh, not only sport jujitsu but self-defense, functional jujitsu for for all around. You know what? Um, it's so important because with for the children, it just gives them like the coordination, it gives them discipline, it gives them confidence. Um, it helps their mind and also with their social skills because nowadays, you know, all the kids are on their tablets, on their phones, or watching TV and they're not interacting the same that's way, right? That's true, that's true. Um, you know, they didn't grow up like you and I, you know. Yeah. We, they, <laughs> yeah. uh, we were out in the streets playing with mm -hmm. the neighbor kids and now they don't have that social interaction, but this gives them the, the, the opportunity to, to interact and, and, and roughhouse in a safe manner. Very, very good. We were also talking about how you have a program for women. Yes. So is it, I believe it's Mondays from 7 to 8. Correct. correct? Yes, ma'am. Free to the public. Uh, it's it, We go over self-defense. Uh, it's it's for the it, it, it's free to the public. So when women come in, we ask them, you know, if, if there's something that they want to learn. I have I have a curriculum that I go over, mm -hmm. but then again, it's for, you know, for you. So I want you to get the most out of it. So we do answer a lot of questions when you come in. Yes, ma'am. Very, very good. So ladies, we all need to learn how to defend ourselves. The program is phenomenal. I can't wait to try your class. You should, yes, it's great. <laughs> uh, learning how to yeah, fight on the ground is definitely beneficial for women, for sure. Very good. Um, also, the Gracie Barra or Gracie Baja is actually worldwide, right? You have over 700 locations? Correct, correct. We have two locations here in the Valley, this this school in Brownsville, uh, and then we have Sherryland coming soon. <gasps> yeah. Yay. Yay. So, and, uh, but no, we're a network of schools of 700 worldwide, and that what's really great about that is you belong to one school, you belong to them all. So you can go to any nice. Gracie Baja and train throughout the world. Wow, so it's a big old family. It's a big old family. <laughs> We're all learning from the same curriculum, same same verbiage, so you're not going to be lost if you go into one of those classes. Talking to your wife also, she mentioned something that was really important and it really touched me because 
a lot of the times we don't think about, you know, what our veterans, you know, go through with the post-traumatic stress disorder. Uh, some of them have missing limbs, and this sport actually helps them out, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, it, it, it goes a little bit beyond that. Uh, I think when, um, when they come home from the service, they're missing that brotherhood. They're missing that... Uh, uh, job to do that's something to fulfill and this gives them something to keep their mind off them it gives them the brotherhood they're in the combative nature so it's therapeutic for them and no matter if you're li missing a limb uh, kind of can be a benefit in jujitsu that's the great thing you because learn, you learn to wrong, adapt right? yep you learn to adapt yes by yeah by all means um, and being a part of something definitely helps them out and this is like you said a big brotherhood yes, fantastic Joshua, so are there any uh, promotions happening right now? Uh, yes, ma'am. we got a great back-to-school uh, promotion going on right now. You can save a lot of money while you sign up. Yes, ma'am. Awesome. So check the website that yes. is um, appearing on the screen right now. And um, is there anything else that you'd like to uh, tell our audience today? Uh, yes, ma'am. I would like to invite everybody out for a free week uh, to try jujitsu. Uh, if it's something you've never tried before, if it's something you thought, bring your friend down and uh, try it out. You never know. You might like it. Awesome. Well, yes, ma'am. Thank you, Joshua, thank for your you time today. Appreciate it. Yes, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. See you tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in to Happy Healthy Valley. Hope you really enjoyed it. We look forward to seeing you next time.